In June of 2023, digital archaeologists discovered ancient video recordings. The experts believe the videos were created between 690 and 800 days ago. Through cutting-edge modern-day technology, the digital archaeologists restored most of the files. The following is what they discovered. The Welcome back to the Great Playroom Makeover. Today we see the final design from Max. If you ask Max, she will remind you this entire design was her idea. But is that enough reason to win? Let's see what she came up with. Welcome, Maxwell Muck, to season two. I'm very excited, personally. I'm glad. So, as you see, we have a special guest with us. Tell me, has there been any tension between the two of you since the big reveal of season one? Good question. <laughs> That's it. Good question. Okay. Yeah, that is a good question. I would like to know Max is there. I would like to know too. Oh, you're breaking up a little bit. So, um, Peyton, I will share with you while we try to get Max's video working. Um, I received a Christmas present from Max. Oh. Ah, oh. <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah. And I was like, did you end up, I didn't know if you ended up getting it. No, no, it, it was a present. <laughs> and I admit, there are days where I have bad phone calls or bad meetings and I'm a little stressed out. I do hug it. Oh, we got and Max. And Max, uh, I also got her one for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now you're good. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> it is. Honestly, um, it may be my favorite stuffed animal now. Oh, <laughs> Max, I'm going to share your presentation. Okay. And you just walk us through it, okay? Okay. I spent like five days making this get better in the time from season one. That's great. It, it definitely is eye-catching. And yeah, I would say... Your hard work paid off. I like it. You like the flowers. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> We're having a hard time. Max, your, your, your connection's going in and out. Yeah, I, I may have to change uh, places. Okay. Here we go. Yay! You're okay, currently it's... frozen, but that's okay, I guess. Can you hear us? Yes. There we go. I can't. Okay. That's oh, great. Now, happen. okay, you're fine now. Okay. So, this is the couch. Um, originally, you could get it in this, like, black leather thing, which uh, I would say goes more with the vibe, but it's $100 more, so you can stick to the gray one. But basically, it has these built-in storage in the chase, and then also the, uh, well, there was a video where it shows, uh, I put in a video, where it shows like how to pull out the couch, but basically you just take like the bottom strap things and just like pull them out. And and it turns and, into a butt? I don't know. It's a, bit more, it's a little bit different than most pull out couches. Very cool. The gaming console. So yeah. this one, I like it. It's pretty generic, but that's okay. It's nice. It's I just like the color of it a lot for no reason. It's good like it. It, has, it has a place for the Xbox underneath, which I feel is a necessity. It's really nice. I, think it's so I nice. did draw that smiley face myself. It's a very nice smiley face. <laughs> Thank you. But I, I would say pretty nice. You can also add like bins and stuff, what the picture has. Uh, which would probably be nice for cords to hide them. But that, it's pretty much the gaming conscience, cons, console. I okay. say it kind of matches the whole vibe. What is the vibe you're going for? Um, so at least said modern, galaxy, and beachy. So I just threw away galaxy and beachy and stuck it on. Very <laughs> good. It a little bit on. Well, I, I, maybe we should have been clearer. It was, those were just some suggested themes. They were individual themes, not necessarily one theme. 
Yes. So, but so you picked one of them. Good. Can you see the next slide? I've, I've moved it on. I don't know if you see it. Yes, I see it. Good. Okay. Now it just says the, the side, but yeah, the, okay. I guess I forgot to put in table, but the side. <laughs> um, it has a nice handle, which, you know, you can move around some. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you want to put your beanbag chairs where the thing is, you can just well, pick it up. Ah, it's over there now. And I say it's pretty handy dandy. Black, simple, nice. A bookshelf. Um, it may be cheap, but it's from Ikea. So, um, it, it's a pretty small bookshelf. I think it'll be nice in front of the door because you don't use that door. Okay, I really like this lamp for no reason. It's really pretty and it's adjustable by the string thing, I think, at least. Is this also an Ikea piece? Um, most everything, almost everything is an Ikea piece. I did uh, implement quite a few I Ikea pieces in our office, so I, I don't like going there. It was terrifying, but okay. I will go there for you, Jeanette. No. Okay. Okay. It's just white paint. Okay. Cut. Easy enough. So, um, it's one of the cheapest carts I could find. It's just white. It's a pretty skinny cart, too. So you okay. just, like, put it in between the bookshelf. Uh, these nice. are the curtains. Um, they're a lot like the ones I picked out last time, but they're mm -hmm. black. And I yeah. think they're short. I think so, because I know the window's pretty small. Yep. But, okay. you know... They're blackout curtains, and I hopefully that'll help with the chainsaw people. Yeah, yeah. Peyton doesn't know about this. We have a nightmare neighbor behind us, and he runs a chainsaw. I'm surprised it's not running right now, but it runs all day, every day, into the night. Yeah. Very entertaining. That is very fun. We have a salt lamp. I feel like I feel like Lisa would like this. I don't know slash like it. So it's all in. And then you have some cool fairy lights. Um, I think you would either put them like around the space or on a specific wall. You kind of have free reign with where to put the fairy lights. And then we have this cute little print thing. There's no frame because you don't need one if you don't want one. Like a poster. You could put one. But at, sure, you could put one if you wanted to. Oh my! You always <laughs> the stuffed animals. Is that a squishmallow? Yes. It is. Wait, is that? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a, a squishmallow. A squishmallow. Because so, it's like a marshmallow. In my eyes, every design needs a stuffed animal. Just mm -hmm. hug it like so, a snake. Um, Just hug it. This may or may not be because I like it and I want you to get me it for Christmas. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I want to see how many stuffed animals I can get through the seasons of the Great Makeover series. So, you know, it's cute. It's called the Couch Bunny. Okay. It sits on the couch. Okay. Okay. But I, I appreciate that she's open and honest that she might get it as a future gift. Yes. Ah, uh, Donna. And she carries that bunny theme over to the blueprint page. Yes, she does. Yeah, look at the bunnies. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the little snow bunnies. That, that's basically where I just put everything out. Um, I don't quite know the measurements of some of the stuff because it was confusing. Because it didn't specifically say what it was, so you know, I just, I just, you know, guessed a little bit. Well, this is helpful though for us to see, yes, yeah, um, how you envision everything being laid out, um, the console, the couch, the lamp. Okay, the bookshelf. Oh, I forgot about the side table, but you can just put that wherever. The closet situation. So, basically, what I was thinking was. Well, I know how all of your board games are currently in the closet. I know how your, like, theater stuff is, like, where the door is. 
So I was thinking, oh yeah, I already saw like a little pole in there. So you could just like take out all the board games and put them into the the bookshelf that I provided for you. Mm. So you could, you know, you could get rid of some stuff. Well, not, well, I mean, you could, I guess you could get rid of some stuff. But, you know, it seemed to work in my mind. Mm-hmm. Organization. Um, that's me. <laughs> Just to be clear, this is not a bribe. I am lending you my organization skills and my label maker, but I will have to label it because, you know, it's very precious to me. Understood. Understood. Now, are you saying that it's not a pride because this is a room for Elise and Elise is maybe not easily swayed by bribes or, no. or did you not appreciate that you may have been um, implied that you were trying to bribe last season? That, well, I, I was fine with it, but like, I'm just making it clear that this is not a bribe. It's okay. just me. Well, I mean, I, I but so. um, it's just my organization skills. It comes with the design. Your your stuff will be looking funky fresh by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> funky fresh. That's amazing. Okay. So things you're cumping, keeping. Beanbag chairs, rug, puppet thing, all the random junk that Elise wants to keep in the room. Creeper poster. What is the creeper poster? <laughs> the Minecraft creeper. Oh, okay. No, there's no one looking. That's my <laughs> Yes, I know that is currently there, so I okay. would like to keep it. And then things I'm not keeping. The cat, like all the stuff I'm replacing. Okay. Okay. So you're throwing, um, you are not keeping a lot of things. Yes. Now let me ask you, one of the things that we we mentioned in the initial rules was we said we really wanted to keep the couch. And you're you're yes. okay with the fact that you're saying nope, get rid of it. Yes. Okay. Um you said you don't quite like the couch and it's it's the zipper the the zipper is stuck. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, I say, just throw it away. Okay. Instead of just getting a new cover or fix the zipper. Yes. Okay. Got it. I say the the one I did was very useful. Okay. So this is your overall, and you have links to everything, so we can look at them later. Yes. Okay. Great. And then I just added all the pictures as a reminder. Yeah. What would I do with the money? I would hoard it until I really want something, then spend it on that. Did you get your penny board that you wanted last season? Oh, good question. I did not. Oh. I forgot what I sent it on. We're bringing back the old tradition with my face. Yeah. And thumbs up. The thumbs up. If you can tell, I was tired. Hey, you look great. Thank you, thank you. The seal looks a little terrifying. (laughs) <laughs> yes but, does mine, like, mine doesn't look that mad does it there you go. he's he's a little happier <laughs> no they're not the same it's just, just I, creepier things <laughs> so. okay is that it I think that oh oh no we have oh. some, some <laughs> other things <laughs> I made this long yeah you have the murder scene. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Um, is, that, um, <laughs> is that Margaret Thatcher as an angel? Yes. Okay. This, is All right. random, this random stuff I have in my camera roll. I appreciate that. Okay. In your budget, you've got it to $9.59.63. Everything is optional. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the paint move. And paint move, shouldn't say it was all optional, but okay. Everything's <laughs> no, paint is all optional. optional. Uh-huh. If you want to get rid of everything, it can just be a room. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, are we done? I think we're done. So thank you for sharing.
So I heard that Stephen Mook was going next. Um, I cannot confirm nor deny the order of who is in or out. In or out, yes, or who the contestants are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Raina Mook is going after that. Uh, again, can't confirm or deny. Yeah, not sure. You just have to wait until the show comes out. Yes, you have to wait. The whole whole thing. Also, what's the video going to be out? Oh my goodness. Now this is, I'm getting <laughs> You can leave now. <laughs> Last season, it was constant. When is it coming out? When is it coming out? So, I mean, I have to think all the job and some other things that, that, that go on, but oh my god, it would be emails that I knew if I didn't get, I'd be up till one in the morning editing because I did not want to get another email from Max. When's it coming out? When's it coming out? This time. Uh, uh, it will be out before 2022. It'll be out eventually. Yeah. Okay. Good deadline. But okay. Okay. All right. Ping, do you have anything you'd like to ask your former rival? Um, not, uh, not right now. No. Okay. No, I know. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Max, for presenting, taking time to put this together for being a part of season two, you were definitely uh, one of the highlights of season one. You were, don't share this, but you were one of my three favorite contestants of season one. <laughs> oh. I wonder who the other two are. So um, we wish you luck. Thank you. And we'll be in touch. Thank you. And just a uh, reminder, I kind of created this whole show, so. No problem. Oh, yeah. I don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and off she oh, goes. And like, she goes. That wasn't me. And that's the final design. Five very different creations, and I love them all. I can tell you I did use a little from each design in my new hangout room, but only one will be the winner. Find out who on the next episode of The Great Playroom Makeover. The Great Playroom Makeover.